is Grace. Today, I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is 16 chapter, The Repentance of God's People. Numbers 21. Some people complained to Moses, Why did you take us here and make us die? Others complained too, We're sick and tired of manna. Others said, God doesn't help us now. So, Israelites people were like, kept complaining again. God gave food, water, clothes, shoes, all things, but they were kept complaining to God. Moses was very sad. He, when he hurt us, hurt us, God helped Moses bring the Israelites here. God gave the Israelites good food, but they wanted better food. They wanted a better place. They didn't want to follow God. They forget to. They forget the sad days in Egypt. They resented God and Moses. So God has gave very many things to the Israelites people. Like good place, good food, and water. And they got and God has taken out Israelites out of Egypt, but like they all forgot the Egypt days in Egypt. God, God was sad because of the ungrateful Israelites. God didn't protect them from the poisonous snake. Run! Shouted the people. But they couldn't get away from the snakes. So, um, I don't know when I have draw this. <laughs> then, like, there were a poisonous snake all over. Oh. I really doesn't like snakes. But there were many snakes. And also, it was a poisonous snake. God saved the Israelites from Egypt. God gave them food and water. But Israelites didn't thank God. Snakes bite and kill them. The people please Moses, help us. So, God gave them God gave the God gave the water food and a good place to stay. The the Israelite people keep complaining. Moses and God and like they were saying like now God doesn't take care of anymore take care of us anymore Moses prayed to God for the people make a big snake with brass God said to Moses hang the brass snake high so that the people could see. If they see the snake, they will not die. So, they're care, they care. So, Moses has asked to God, and God said, like, make a big snake with a 
grass. Moses didn't want God. Oh, Moses did what God ordered to him to do. If the people saw the grass snake, they didn't die. God helped them to forgive them. So, like, I think I have heard that seeing a grass snake means like that I have done wrong. So, like, God said to the people to, uh, like, see the brass snake. Mm, yes, today I read the Bible story. I will read 17th chapter next time, and I will, like, tell you. <laughs> I'll just read it. <laughs> 17th chapter, the wall of Jericho. Jericho is a fortress with a high, strong wall. Look at this wall, said Joshua. People, how can we fight against the people of Jericho? How can we go over this wall? So Jericho, it is very high place. Yeah, they were very strong. They were very strong. What? So like the Israel people were like thought that we can fight against Jericho. Joshua said, God will help us. God told Joshua how to tear the wall down. And Joshua told the people that God taught them. This is the way God taught me. So like, Joshua, after Moses died, Joshua was the leader of Israelites. They were going to tear the wall down by God's way. One first, on the first day, Joshua and the Israelites went to Jericho. They marched around the city wall with the sound of trumpets. They then they went back to their tents. What are they doing? <laughs> the people of Jericho was curious. Why are they were afraid of Israelites? Why don't they fight against us? The Israelites marched around the city the next day. On the seventh day, Joshua and the Israelites marched around the Jericho. Wall of Jericho. Where it was different from other six days. They marched it around the city seven times. The people of Jericho were curious. What is going to happen? When they when the people heard the sound of trumpets, they began to shout. The high wall of Jericho fell down in front of the people. Joshua and the Israelites ran into Jericho and took over the city. Joshua shouted, God help us. Like, God helps the Israelites and Jesus and God knows what we're doing now. And he knows everything.
<laughs> yes, we should believe God. Yes, today I read the Bible story to the enjoy. The next time I'll read another God story. Then let's see you next time. Bye.